In this tutorial, we will see how to manage and create layers in TV Paint. So to create a new layer, you can click on the new button just here. So we have different choices available, but first let's see the anim layer option. So when you create a new anim layer, you create a new place where you can draw and animate. We can also create a background layer this one pops at the bottom. And actually, it's also an anime layer. Actually, um, all the options you have here are what we call presets. Presets are a way to define options in a layer. For example, if you want a layer pops above or under, I will explain them in detail in another uh, tutorial. The background layer is the preset made to draw background. So, for example, if I draw something and I go further on the timeline and I would like to add new colors in my background. If I draw here in the middle of the timeline and since I'm not on the head, well, actually, it's not important because the interest of the background layer is the fact it can automatically grow up and actually you will never create a new instance, uh, just like we could do in a normal anim layer. For example, if I anim something, I go further, I create all the time new instances with new durations. It's not how it works with the background layer. Whatever the place you are on the timeline, even if you are outside the layer, if you draw something, the layer uh, grows up and draw actually on the head. This behavior can be explained. Actually, it's because the auto break feature here is disabled. You remember, we have seen, I have talked about the auto break in a previous tutorial for animation and in betweens. If you disable this mode, it means you will never break the instance. So I can draw anywhere on the layer, I will always affect the head. If I enable the auto break, now I will break the instances. By the way, if you don't want to have this behavior where the where the um, the instance becomes bigger and bigger, like this, because each time I'm drawing outside the layer and draw something, it makes the layer bigger. You can disable the auto create. When you disable the auto create, you can't draw outside a layer. And so you will be always forced to be on the layer, on an instance, on an image to draw something. The auto create also works um, when you are outside the layer, and for example, when you create before the layer actually exists. Here in my background, the layer exists only at image 40. And if I draw outside, it still makes it grow up. So actually, the auto create and the auto break still works, whatever if you are after a layer or before a layer exists. Other options interesting regarding the layers. You have many options available if you make a right click on the layer stack, like this. So you have a bunch of options like rename layer. So you can give it a different name. You can duplicate a layer, so you will duplicate the whole layer and its content. You can delete a layer. So you make a right click and you will delete and confirm this choice. You can select all. You can, when your uh, layers are selected and you make a choice, it will affect the whole layers. So here I'm uh, locking the position and I can't move the layer again. I can still affect the durations, no problem, but not the position. You can also, for example, change the opacity levels. 
without affecting the other layers. To do so, you just have to um, unselect the whole layers. And you can also um, change what we call the layer blending modes. The layer blending modes, you will recognize them if you already used uh, other um, painting or um, animation software. So those modes are like um, shade or multiply or screen. To explain them better, let's create a new project. Or I just create two different shapes like this. So I can change the layer blending mode of this option. Behind, oh, erase, shade. You can use the little arrows just here to switch between the modes. And here we are back to color mode. Regarding the new button, because at the moment I've just shown you anime background, there is also another preset, which is called color and texture layer. This one is very peculiar, so we will talk about this one in a different tutorial. And we also have the duplicate structure, which is really interesting, since it allows you to duplicate a layer and it will clear this layer, and it will clear the structure. In other words, it means we have here a layer with the animation, and here we have a similar layer with the same structure, so with the same duration and the same number of instances, except it's empty. By the way, some options very interesting to know on which layer you are working on. So the current layer is always a little clearer than the other layers, but it's not enough. You can eventually use the key equal on your keyboard, and then you can use the arrows up and down to move and see which layer is the one you are working on. And you can also use the key A to shake the image from the current layer. Of the stuff to know, you can also lock the layers by using the little lock dot just here, so you notice it always works like columns, so here you have the column with a lock, so if you click on the dot, you lock the layers. And you can also hide the contents on hitting other big points. When you hit the big points, you hide the content of the layer, it becomes inactive, and when it's inactive, even the title becomes uh, dark gray, so you know you can't draw on it, it's uh, totally disabled. And last but not least, something very important to understand, something about the white background we see in TV Paint. In TV Paint, the white background doesn't exist for real. The background can be changed here at the bottom on the left-hand side, just like this. So you have the different choices. You have known, color, and check. So with known, actually, there's no background at all, so that's why it's black. With color, you can pick up a color and use a color of your choice in a, as a background. So you can pick any color of your choice, pink if you want to see the life in pink. And you can do the same with the check where you have two checkboxes. And here we are. And actually, the real last but not least, because there are the last thing to say about the layers, is the fact that you can replace and change the order. To do so, you have to click on the title of a layer and you can move it like this. So when you have a tiny green line like this, it means you are moving them. And if you have the other layers becomes green as well, be careful because it means then that you are about to merge the layers together. Uh, this will be explained in another lesson. So if you have at the moment this panel, just cancel your choice and remove like this. 